What's up, cocksuckers and fuckers? Not a good start. That's not a good start. I don't like that. I'm gonna restart. Hey guys, Super New X here. Hmm. Hmm. That's some good ass art. Okay, we're going to start worlds again. We're going to do over and up with Sarla. We're almost done with the game. That's good. This episode is all going to be about the stairs. But I want to talk about games this time. You know, we don't ever, I never really talk about games. I'm always kind of pissed off at this game. But yeah, what are games that you ex are kind of disappointed that either they never got a sequel, or they did get a sequel, or were can or even cancer games, really? Thanks, Sonic. No, that was a bro thing to do. But you know, well, the reason why I'm asking this is because. I believe right now it's my favorite game. The last version of the game that I like the most. I believe it's now eight years old. That game is MLB Power Bros. That's my favorite game of all time. And it's, I think it's been eight years from today. That wasn't that was the thing. So, I've been kind of reminiscing about that, and so I was like, well, what are games kind of fell into the same fate as Emma Gabbard? And it's weird because there's such a, that's actually a really strong community that's still alive. Surprising, I didn't think there was a community that was alive and still, you know, trying to get MLB Power Pros here. You know, I read like some of the reviews of people who think that this game is that game is a piece of crap. It's not. It's one of the it's a, the only reason why they probably say it's crap is because it's simple. If you look at it as a baseball aspect, then yeah, you're gonna think it's crappy. But that's not what video games is about. Is it fun? It's fun. It's an RPG. It's a sports RPG. You don't play many sports RPG where there's actually many routes you can take. And even if you had like the best characters, they all take so diff such different routes. So it's it's a new experience every time. Shit. Not this part again. This part's always gotta be this part always gets me here. Oh, you did some oh, you did some good, Sonic. I'll give you I'll give you props. Sonic. Thanks to you, I nearly died. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, in 2008, I guess I was, I didn't expect them to actually come out was 2008. It was MLB Pro 2008, that was the last version of the game that came out for me. I didn't expect them to come out was 8, I, I was just kind of getting used to the, the first version of it. They came out the second version, I didn't like the second version. But later on, I got I was getting better at it, and then I found out that that was the last version of the game that they were going to release in America, which pisses me off more than anything else. Then I found out there's more versions of the game that's still in Japan, and I can't play them because they're so expensive to import. But I would love to play it if someone would be so kind to give me PayPal money or money at all. Enough of this, Eggman! You better start explaining what's going on! Fine, you have one of those bad rails to help you. Turn the math rail into a car, into a car using my camera and take a picture of it from up here and the island. Oh, I'm sorry. Since the master ammo is a unique object, it says all of our songs say thank you on. When the future ammo is turned this card, its existence and all time frame expands as well. So that's why the master just disappeared right in front of me. So you finally understand. Using the power of the ambulance, I brought all the master, uh, all of Angel Island here into this town frame. Let's see. 
Oh, this is your fault. Oh, 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 I have nothing more to say to you. Go play with my Sonic now. I, I, I promise, I'm done with voice acting now. That was all my voice acting. But then, I realized that a lot of games kind of fell into the same phase, you know? Uh, Crap the Rapper 2. Jack and Daxter, I'm pretty certain that people are still kind of... We kind of wanted Jack and Dexter 4. Because Jack and Dexter wasn't, that was actually pretty good. I have to admit, Jack and Dexter 1, Jack and Dexter 2 is visually appealing, and Jack and Dexter 3 actually exceed everything I expect, I expect, <coughs> I expected from a third game in the series. I'm pretty certain it just leaves more questions than answers, in my opinion. Oh, jeez, that's right. I have to... have to be Metal Sonic first. Metal Sonic first. And then... Oh, shit. I have to be Metal Sonic first. And then I... And then I face boss. But like I said, the lot I'm trying to say now is that... You know, Private Rapper 2, Jack and Dexter 3, um, name some other games that you guys are kind of expecting to be kind of a thing. Any Mega Man game. <laughs> really, um, Sonic Extreme. I'm trying to come with as many games as I possibly can. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy 3? As is one of the few, it's been one of those few games that actually exceed expectations of the original. Huh. <laughs> you, you're losing, you metal piece of crap. And then there's the curious case, I mean, the only game that I really actually was curious about. Oh, man, I, I had that. I hope this hit you. It didn't hit you, but I hope it did. I hope I can catch up with you. I'll be pissed if I don't. But there was a curious case of Fez too. That I actually was just learning about recently. Oh, come on. I actually see him. It's actually rather close. And maybe I lost my chance to get to him. But yeah, I read about Fez too. Now I didn't like Fez. I just don't. But it was weird because it was critically acclaimed. It was a critically acclaimed game. And people liked it. And I read about that case. And well, it's not a really a case. It was like what happened to it. So, Fez 2 did come out with a trailer. And it was in, uh, apparently it was in development. And the story is, is that a reporter was, well, it was around the time when the Xbox One was just about to come out. And I guess the guy was kind of upset that he wouldn't really go into any details about the Xbox One. I'm going to restart. He wouldn't go into any details about the Xbox One. Wait, I mean, I don't really get those kind of reporters that want to know about the console before it comes out. That, where did the joy really go? The joy for wanting to know about the console leaves as soon as you start asking about it and then we start getting information about it. I, I just hate those kind of things. I'd rather it be a complete secret and me never to know about it than you just start spoiling stuff 
because of me. I didn't even know that this PlayStation 4 was coming out as a new one until everybody started talking about, oh yeah, let's compare it to Scorpio. We Companies really need to just start doing a little bit better at that kind of stuff. Me, personally. But anyways, that's not the point. So this guy was being really critical about that, about that portion of it. And criticized indie owners for that portion of it. For just doing that. And in, in an exam and for a particular example, he used the creator of Fez because he was the most recent, I guess, culprit of it. I mean I can see, dude. I can see. It's not that bad. Didn't really advance, don't me, just kind of went a little faster. But in any case, he, he, he really goes on a really... I won't, it's, it wasn't, it, it's not a very nice report, really. If I can, if I can even say it wasn't really a nice report, it wasn't even a really fair report assessment of the guy. Now, granted, he does do this. Now, granted, from what I read, he has done this previously in the past before. So it's not like this is completely a surprise. I just need to go. So, what ends up happening is this guy goes on some sort of, he goes on a rant. He goes on a rant on Twitter, criticizing the guy, and then criticizing, I guess, just about everything he can just about the game, about just people in general. And he ends it with... I, I don't remember exactly what he canceled it with. It was something along the lines of, Fez 2 is canceled. Or it was like, something like, fuck it. Fez 2 is cancelled, goodbye. Or it was... It, it, or maybe it was... You, Fez 2 was cancelled. Holy shit. It's stormy out there. Oh, that was bad. I'm not sure if you guys could hear it. I got Sonic's black tie shoes. I think the phrase was, best two is canceled, you guys don't deserve it, goodbye. And that was it. And so, when they asked him years later, he said, he said like he felt like he was, he lost all interest in, um, in doing video games anymore. Now, he came back, and currently he's making more games. How do you like that? Don't think you've won yet. So let's see what you do against me and Metal Sonic. One challenger, two doesn't make a difference to me. <clears throat> but, it left, but it left me thinking about this, and I think I'm going to do a video about this. Like, what were the true reasons behind... What were the true reasons behind Fest 2's actual cancellation? Because it seems kind of... It seems kind of easy to say, Oh, the cause behind, the cause behind Fest 2 was because the, uh, the developer was kind of being an asshole. Which, I mean, is a fair, and I mean, it was kind of, it could be a fair analysis. But, we need to look at it in so many different views, there's so many different views we have to take. So, that's what I want to do a video on, it just fez to, like, the rise and fall of fez 2.
and just regular Fez. And I actually might play Fez because I think I still have it for free. I think when it was originally released, it was free. Oh, come on, no. There we go. So I think, yeah, so I still, I still have a copy. I think now you have to pay for it, but I think my version is free. And it was for all platforms, too, so... I could actually play I could... Oh, shit, I could play it right now if I wanted to. I didn't even think about that. Get up. Watch this. Boom. Yeah, I can play Fez. To, I can play Fez today. Really, I didn't think I could do a series on this, but I could do a series on Fez. Cause I've actually never played Fez, and I might actually start to enjoy it. Cause I actually, I think my basis was on. I didn't even complete get to the first level. Come on, there we go. Win, done, did it. But I could do a whole series on Fez, and I could do that. But I want to go into like why. I think personally, Fez 2 is canceled, and what I think needs to be done before, if we ever are to get a Fez 2. At least that's my. And I say we as in you, because we are in this together. And I do a lot of these things for you, because I love you all. Unforgivable! You may be very, very angry. Fine then. I use this camera to turn this whole planet into a car. Oh, <laughs> you can just sit back and watch that move. No, I'm too late. That little bitch. Oh, he doesn't want him. He lost. Hey, Knuckles, we can't give up yet. Sonic Knuckles, get in. We can still catch up to him. My new tornado plane. Tails. It's a plane. Yeah, but now it functions partially as a spaceship. It, you're kidding, right? No, not at all. In fact, it's like in fact, it can get us there and get in the space colony. We obviously don't need air, do we? Nah, in this place now nah, we just breathe air because we can. We don't need air. What do you think the humans needed air? Get real. Right. Right. Right, Sonic. In any case, we're gonna catch him in my new tornado lane. Alright, let's go, Sonic. Let's pull together on this one, Knuckle. Oh! Well, let's teach that Eggman a lesson. But anyways, that's it. So, I just kinda wanna see... Sonic shoes. I get a lot of Sonic 2's. I wonder what I have to do in order to just... Oh. I kind of want to see these shoes. And let's just do one of these things. Yeah. Uh... But yeah, um, pretty lame. But yeah, that's that's my plan. I plan to do a whole documentary about it. And now that I thought, now that I've thought about it, I'm gonna download this, and I'm just gonna sit there and look at it. I'm gonna question if this is the right thing to do. The thing I still have PlayStation Plus, so I can play Gravity. I think I can actually play Dust. Oh man, if I could play Dust. Oh, I can play Dust. I don't have a PS4. Speaking of PS4, I think we need a Wii. I think I'm gonna need a Wii because I want to play GameCube games here. 
and I am tired of playing the PSTV. Nothing wrong with PSTV. I'm just tired of it. So, you know, that's the thing. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and putting on with me for a little bit. You know, not a lot of time, but enough. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, definitely share. Oh, I'm wet. Oh, I'm so wet. I'm wetter than I was when I went out to shopping and sweated. Well, this next video will definitely be the end of the side of a knuckles saga. Shit. I'll see you guys next time. Boy. Mmm. Mmm, that's cold. Oh, it's cold. Cold, 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 cold. Cold.